Hey, Jerry Terry, Decathlon Tiny Homes here, and today we are delivering Jay here to the Lake Dallas Tiny Home Village here with Terry Landtrip. And we just want to give you a quick tour of the house. Uh, so we have the all-American house here, American colors, the metallic blue trim, the red door, the red roof, and of course white on the on the outside walls. So come on in. The uh, the outswing door. So we're all leveled up and plugged in. We're about to start the uh, the skirting here. So when we come on in the house, we have uh, this is the main center area. So Don, our customer here, went with the upgraded roof line. So the ridge is offset to the side. So it's only a, a, a two foot run and a six foot run off the ridge. So there's a nice big vault here in the middle of the upgraded roof line. We have a fan here in the center. And April, our designer, has uh, found a fan for perfect for tiny house. The blades are retractable. So they go ahead and come out of the fan when it gets turned on. So that's pretty, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So this is the main area of the house. Uh, um, and this is the this is the kitchen and living area here in the center. So you have the fridge uh, right over here under a nice cabinet. The storage uh, ladder, uh, storage ladder comes right off of here and hooks right onto that bar. So this stores away really nice, super, super clean. You can also use it to fill your keys or some spices or whatever on these while it's being stored. A uh, kitchen area, a uh, full kitchen, you know, it's a tiny house, so it's not the biggest kitchen, but leaves plenty of space in the 24 foot house. You got your microwave, your two burners. This sink is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be when we put it in, so I was very, very pleased with the depth of the sink with the walnut uh, countertops. Uh, and April put in the, uh, the black, uh, black handles with the metallic silver trim. Uh, this space leaves room for a six foot couch here in the center. You have your big double uh, sliding uh, windows here in the center here. Uh, under here is attic space, so this pulls off. This pops right off, and you get the uh, you get access to that entire under bed area for uh, for storage when you need it. Uh, got a pop up bar, which of course matches the uh, matches the countertop here. Okay, so that just clicks right down. You can also walk you know through into the bedroom and out. When this is popped up, we thought that was we thought that was important. This just pops right back down. So we got the barn door here. So this just slides slides closed, knocks around the wheel well here. So that closes up there. And then in the bedroom area, here's the bedroom area. The uh, HVAC system is located here in the bedroom area. Uh, we thought that was a good spot for it. This is a queen size uh, platform here. So a queen mattress fits here. The big drawers, big drawers for under bed storage, and then nice built-in wardrobe with your bar there. So a little shelf up top, and then a couple extra shelves down low. So that is the bedroom area. And then, of course, there's a storage loft. You can see it from that angle pretty well. So a good amount of space. There's a, there's a, a separate dedicated switch and light for the storage area there uh, with an outlet up there as well. And then the bathroom, we have a, uh, a uh, you know pocket pocket door here to close for the bathroom, and then the bathroom has you know full everything. We have the washer dryer in here. Okay, the water heater is underneath. Uh, we have a nice uh, shower rod right here for the the neo angle shower. Uh, full regular toilet, flush toilet, and then of course the bathroom vanity with a window right in front there. And uh, April put in a little hook here for to hang a mirror so that uh, you can hang the mirror there but still have the window uh, feel open behind there. So that is Jay. He is now here in Lake Dallas Tiny Home Village and we are completing the skirting and ready to get Donna moved in. Thank you very much.